welcome my dear future nursing officer today we'll see the overview of english as per the high school standard that will come in the odisha subordinate staff selection commission nursing officer examination just today i will discuss with the part one if you have not subscribed the channel please kindly subscribe like comment and share with your friend which may be helpful for you now we will see what are the important topic in english which is exclusively for important for the odisha subordinate staff selection commission nursing officer let's let us see okay now we will see or in the as per the hsc or 10th standard english okay first we will see about the antonyms okay then we will see the synonyms okay which is followed by another important topic that is called sentence okay that is also important for the odisha subordinate staff selection commission okay another one is the modals this one is also important for the nursing officer examination of odisha subordinate staff selection commission another important concept or in an important topic that is tense okay another important that is called articles so these six are also important very very important for the odisha subordinate staff selection commission nursing officer recruitment examination okay now we'll see the sparse of speech number 6 we'll see the sparse of speech okay what are the types of sparse of speech these are the different types of sparse of speech first we'll see the noun okay then we'll see the verb okay which is followed by the pronoun okay now then we'll see adjective then we'll see adverb then preposition introduction conjunction we'll see one by one okay i will introduce regarding them what are the type of question what is the important of what is the what are the important question that will asked by the examiner okay in the examination entrance examination okay i will just focus on that important question okay next we'll see the direct and indirect speech okay then one word substitution okay then another one is the voice change or that is also called active voice and passive voice okay we'll see that one okay comprehension comprehension in one in the english question one comprehension the passage will be given you have to understand the speech and then after you have to write down the answer okay then another miscellaneous items topic will also focus okay so one by one will focus first i will show about the okay talk about the antonyms antonyms is other one antonyms is a word okay what is antonym antonym is a word okay remember this one okay which convey a meaning okay kya karta hai what it will indicate it will indicate a meaning okay what whatever the word is given to you whatever the word is given to you okay antonym is the opposite of that word antonym is the opposite of that word okay whatever the given word is given to you just you have to write down the opposite word of the given word that is usually known as antonyms okay just i am going through that one one by one just um, to, today i will focus on the 70 antonyms which is important for your examination okay so look here this one is the one number one abandon okay abandon or abandon okay द एवेंडन परित्याग करना ओके परित्याग करना इसका मतलब मीनिंग क्या है परित्याग करना ओके द ऑपोजिट वर्ड ऑफ एवेंडन इज कंटिन्यू ओके कंटिन्यू चालू रखना है परस्यू ओके रिमेन कैरी ऑन सब कुछ ये इफ द इफ द क्वेश्चन विल कम फ्रॉम द कम इन द इन योर एग्जामिनेशन सच सपोज इट हैज रिटर्न एज एवेंडन ओके व्हाट इज द ऑपोजिट व्हाट इज द एंटोनिमस विद दैट वर्ड okay in the multiple choice question if the these four numbers of antonyms are given then you have to mention okay if continuity is written there you have to click or you have to write or you have to make a tick mark on the continue if it is given as pursue then you have to tick mark on the okay the antonym of the abandon okay if it is uh, continue and pursue are not there then you have to mention that remain Okay, then carry if carry on is written there, you have to also tick on the 
carry on. Okay, likewise, let's come back to the number two question that is ability. Ability in Hindi that is Samarthya. Okay, you have to remember like that. Okay, or Samarthya, agar bolengi, incompetent. Suppose a word is given that is ability. Okay, in that question, it is telling you have to write down the antonyms. So, in the antonyms, if it is given incompetence, disability, and incapacity, then you have to write down or you have to make a tick mark on that. Okay, correct one. Likewise, your goal is conform, uphold, promote, establish. Okay, it will be like that. Abu, okay, Abu ka antonyms kya hoga? What will be the? And Biporit Sab, jo bolte hai. Biporit Sab, okay, jo hota hai, that is, okay, Abu ka kya? Upar, niche bolte hai. Jaisi. Upar ho gaya, uska opposite word kya hoga? Below. Okay, niche jo ho gaya. Okay, like down, under. Okay, agar ab loon ko agar suppose, if the word is given Abu, wahan par bola hai aapko, uska, क्या लिखने के लिए ओके okay. उसका क्या लिखने के लिए बोला है उसका अगर बोलता है विपरीत शब्द लिखने के लिए बोलेगा तो आपको बिलो में टिक करना है या डाउन देन यू हैव टू मेंस आल्सो टिक ऑन द अंडर ओके अगर ये बिलो एंड डाउन सर नॉट दिया देन यू हैव टू मेक इट टिक ऑन द अंडर ओके लाइक वाइज अनदर नंबर 5 हुआ एवरेज ओके एवरेज ओके द एंटोनिम्स आर द एवरेज इज एनलार्ज ओके प्रोलॉन्ग एक्सपैंड मैग्नीफाई Likewise, absolve, okay. The absolve, okay. Antonyms of absolve what is punish, okay. Chastise, castigate, penalize. It will be like that. Absurd, okay. Absurd. The antonym of absurd is logical, okay. Wise, rational, sensible, reasonable. Likewise, abundance, okay. Abundance, okay. The antonym of abundance is. ओके प्रचुर जो बोलते हैं अबराउंड्स का मीनिंग क्या प्रचुर प्रचुर का क्या होगा कम में नहीं होगा अगर ज्यादा है तो नहीं होगा उसका विपरीत शब्द ओके तो लेफ ओके डर्थ ओके सटेज ओके वांट डेफिशिएंसी जो कोई भी अगर इट इज नॉट मेंशन देयर ओके सपोज अबराउंड्स ए वर्ड इज गिवन दैट इज अबराउंड इन दैट क्वेश्चन पेपर दैट क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग टू यू यू हैव टू मेंशन द एंटोनिम्स ऑफ द अबराउंड ओके If the lake is there, if if any words is there, like lake, dark, shortage, one and deficiency, you have to make a tick on that particular word. Okay, then you are getting one mark. Okay, you will get one mark. There is no doubt. That is why it is important. Then another one, the ninth, accumulate. Accumulate means jama karna. Accumulate means what is the meaning of that accumulate? Accumulate means jama karna. Okay. मीन व्हाट इज द एंटोनिम ऑफ द एकुमुलेट विपरीत शब्द क्या है एकुमुलेट का डिस्ट्रीब्यूट भाग भाग कर देना क्या है व्हाट इज द एंटोनिम ऑफ द एकुमुलेट द एंटोनिम ऑफ एकुमुलेट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूट डिसिपेट स्कैटर स्प्रेड यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड लाइक दैट नेक्स्ट नाउ वी विल सी अबाउट द 10th नंबर ओके दैट इज एंटोनिम वर्ड दैट इज एक्विट ओके सपोज ए वर्ड इज गिवन दैट इज एक्विट In that case, just you have to mention the antonym words of the acute. You have to mention the charge. Okay, okay. Acute ka antonym sir kya hai? Before sir kya hai? Charge, blame, accuse, involve. Okay, it will be like that. In part two video, I will discuss about the synonyms. Okay, which is followed by the sentence and the articles. Okay, you have to remember like that. Thank you. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friend, which may be helpful for you and you with your friend. Thank you very much.